as they made us. It will be in theaters and on demand this Friday. Maya and Bialik, nice to have you back on Good Day. Thank you, nice to be here in person. I should have mentioned Call Me Cat, right, which is on Fox. Call Me Cat, uh, yes, is on Fox. We're finishing our second season and I'm um, having a great time. That's nice. Yes. So this film that you made, you actually filmed it in Jersey. We did. We Why Jersey? Because um, I was told that's where our budget could afford for us to film. <laughs> and um, no, it was, you know, it's, it's, a lot of, um, it's a lot of interiors and there were a lot of beautiful places to film. And Jersey's close to the city, which is great. Um, I have a lot of friends and I spent every Shabbat in Teaneck. It was great. I love it. <laughs> but you know, Maya, I mean, this cast that you have, first of all, tell us about the movie because I kind of jumped the gun to the cast, but mm -hmm. tell us about the movie. It's personal, but it's not personal. Right, it's not autobiographical, um, but my father of blessed memory passed away seven years ago. And I actually, after the year of mourning, which in traditional Judaism is a very intense year, um, I started having images, thoughts, memories. There was music that went to some of them and I started writing. And I never thought, I'm gonna make a movie of this. I just wanted to write. And so um, after many rounds of, of notes and a lot of doubt, um, I ended up reworking it into, again, not an autobiography, but a story about um, a woman who grew up with mental illness and with addiction, which is things that we often don't talk about. Mm. And I wanted to explore the impact of that childhood on her present life and also in particular, what happens in families when usually the daughter kind of stays and takes care of the parents and mm. sort of the sibling relationship in a family that can feel fractured. Um, and yes, Dustin Hoffman and Candace Bergen play the parents. What? And Simon Helberg and Diana Agron play the kids, as it were. What was it like kind of telling them what to do? It was very strange. I mean, <laughs> Simon and I had worked together on Big Bang Theory for almost a decade. It so, was like a reunion. Well, but it also felt strange. This is my friend and someone I look up to that I now was directing. And then Dustin Hoffman and Candace Bergen and Diana, who are completely, you know, skilled, seasoned actors, and especially Dustin and Candace, who I grew up watching. Right. Um, you know, it was very collaborative. It was a lot about what they saw in the script, what they wanted to bring out. Um, Dustin was very happy for me to just like talk, tell him what I wanted. Um, Candace also, but she just, she had such an instinct for this character. So um, they didn't need a lot of help. Um, but directing is putting kind of all those pieces together and all those people together. So this is the first time you're doing something yes. like this. Were you nervous? Did you have confidence? Um, I was Did very you nervous. Give direction with. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I was nervous. I mean, you know, there's that first time that you yell action, and yeah. you've never done that before. Um, it's a very strange and wonderful sense of kind of power. Yes. But yeah, it was hard to get into it. You know, especially as a a scientist and an actor, I'm not thought of as a director, so it was really kind of finding my place. Well, I think you did it beautifully. <laughs> Thank we you. Have a clip from As They Made Us. Uh, here, here it is. All right, let's get Dad to this appointment. We're going to do it in the What's walker. This? Why? Well, he's got to try it. I can try it. Yeah. Let me take Dad, this. Dad, I think you should use the wheelchair. He can try the walker. I can try it. Ma, he's very weak. Right? Yes. It's okay. I'm okay. I know what I'm doing. Wow, I think so many families have gone through that. What was it like filming that scene? Um, well, this scene actually turns kind of funny. Like there's some funny stuff that happens, which I wanted to show some of the funny moments in this phase of life, as it were. Mm. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of um, mechanical things like walkers and wheelchairs that you have to learn to use with, you know, swiftness. <laughs> and um, Candace did a, a very, there's some really funny stuff in that scene. You know, it is a, it's a heavy movie. It's an intense movie. I'm not going to act like it's not. Um, but there is a lot of lightness. And, you know, the house that I grew up in had a lot of challenges, but it was also very loving, very funny. Um, and life is sort of a combination of those things. And that's kind of what, um, you know, I wanted to, to show in this film. Well, you do it beautifully. Thank you. And we know you from films. I know you've done like some great, great TV shows, but you kind of burst into the scene in Beaches That's when right. you played Bette Midler. Right. Right? Yeah, and I was 13 when that came out. 13. So I'm wondering, one, have you stayed in touch with Bette Midler? <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, 
remember that the movie came out in 1988. There were no cell phones. We didn't even have laptop <laughs> computers. So when you worked with someone, you kind of went separate ways. Mm. Um, we have been in contact. We, we did the same show within two days, like in LA, and she left me a little video message, and that was really sweet. Aww. And obviously, I follow her on Twitter, as, as do a lot of people. Um, but yeah, the world was very different then. It wasn't like you stayed in touch. And I was a kid, and she was a grown woman. Right. <laughs> Would you ever consider playing Bette Midler in, you know, later years. Sure. I mean, you know. Are you offering me a script? Yeah, like a biopic. <laughs> Listen, you're writing stuff. Write the I dawn mean, my, biopic my for Bette Midler. My parents always said I looked like Bette Midler and Barbara Streisand, so I'm trying to cover that uh, that demographic. But yes, very open to anything. I mean, because, I mean, she's had quite, quite a career Absolutely. and quite a life. Yes. I mean, we, we all yeah, have, but yes. I know. And you, I mean, I don't know how you <laughs> juggle it all, because w when do you do the Jeopardy thing? So um, I work on Call Me Cat basically three weeks out of the month, and Jeopardy is on my week off. And then once Call Me Cat ends, then I'm committed to um, Jeopardy through the end of their season. So and I live season to season. So that's kind of how we work. So, yeah. Are they going to ever decide on a permanent host? Are you it? We, I, I, I'm, I mean, if, if I'm it, I don't know it yet. Um, and the intro said guest host. I'm, technically, Ken and I are sharing hosting duties is how we've done this year. Um, and then hopefully I find out. You know, I'm at the mercy, as we, as we in this industry are, I'm at the mercy of other people kind of giving me my next year's uh, proposals and schedules. So um, it's a waiting spring. I'll tell you that Jeopardy uh, audience, they are very opinionated. They are about very their... opinionated, as they should be. Do you, does it get under your skin at all? No. I mean, to me, there's a, you know, a, a definite faithfulness that that kind of iconic show that has been on for decades and decades is going to have. And, you know, there's literally, I don't mean to say it like, oh, nobody's perfect, but no one's the perfect replacement for Alex Trebek because you can't replace Alex Trebek. So um, I do my best, you know, to highlight these incredible contestants. And every episode's new for me because I meet three new amazing people or two new amazing people, depending on the champion every time. So, Well, you're so good at it. You're Thank so you. darn smart. <laughs> All right, the new movie, As They Made Us, how can we see it? Um, Video on demand on Friday, and it is in some selected theaters. Um, and I think it's here in Manhattan and one in Jersey City. So this part of the country gets uh, definitely gets to see it in theaters, which I do highly recommend because it is a very visual, large movie. All right. Well, it's always great to see Thank you in you. person. Hopefully, you'll have some downtime. <laughs> yes. You get me like I think I'm busy. You. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, nice to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.